Hello there everyone and welcome back to episode 7 of us playing as the Northwest National Defense Front or little, or just really just Mao Zedong's little five tone. But we gotta talk about a new term, a capitalist builder. There are severe and acute class struggles in both urban and rural China. After completing the social transformation of the ownership system, the class of enemies who oppose socialism try to restore capitalism using peaceful evolution. The focus of the socialist movement is to rectify those in power in the party who have taken the capitalist road and to consolidate further and develop socialist positions in urban and rural areas. As long as the party continues to implement the decisions of the party's central committee on the socialist education movement more thoroughly and correctly and grasp the outlines of the class struggle and the system of the battle between the two roads of socialism and capitalism, it will not be challenging to find another, define and clear the capitalists. Supply and Marketing Cooperatives Supply and marketing cooperative is an essential part of the people's commune and is a transit point for transferring and exchanging various resources. A centralized purchase and sale of food depend on the supply and marketing agency, and urban goods distribution depends on the supply and marketing agency. We should expand the functions of the supply and marketing agency to further develop the exchange of materials between urban and rural areas, promote cooperation as the center of the agricultural production movement, and support the industrialization of the base areas. And then socialist agriculture. Well, maybe we'll read this after we do uh, get this one done, because I am i don't like losing daily political power, which is not much. We actually have more than enough now. <laughs> Over 700. But I do not like losing 0.5 admin efficiency monthly gain, which is honestly very god-awful. The early deficit is, it's alright. Boris the third nominates a set of cabinet, huh? Very nice. Growth is decent. We have a lot of debt to GDP ratio. Not ideal. It is what it is, though. Uh, but, here we go. After basically defeating the capital economically, politically, and ideologically, uh, the base developed a new basis for the relatively stable development of agricultural production by creating farmland construction on an unprecedented scale. After overcoming the right-leaning conservative ideology, and breaking the bottleneck of agricultural technology, a situation of leaps and bounds in agricultural production emerged, with the output of farming products increasing exponentially, several times, dozens, and tens of times, which further promoted the liberation of the people's minds. In the struggle for a good agricultural harvest, a great collaboration broke the boundaries of the community, township, and county, and militarization of organization, combat of action, and collectivization of life became an expected mass behavior. All these achievements enable us to solemnly declare that a new socialist agricultural climax is coming to the whole base area with unstoppable momentum. It should be great to do. Um, and I do want to see, ooh, we are getting to 1967, so, it gives us a second here, we'll strike hard against crime, we've got anti-only economism, economism, alright, well, whatever, um, I do want to, re we read this one last time, so we read this one again, please go ahead, uh, Positive contact. After effort, we have established a more solid connection with the Hainan branch. And Carmen Feng Bai Kui indicated in a recent telegram that Hainan has worked in Southeast Asia for a long time and developed several stable routes as well as intelligence network throughout East Asia for Southeast Asia that is readily available for use. So we'll go to the south, go to southern southeastern Asia, establish a secret link with the comrades in Hainan branch of the CPC. The interface affecting Southeast Asia is now available. Please check the South China Bureau on the top of the CPC National Congress GUI. Where are we at? So it's January. Oh, forgot to do this. My bad. Um, special care. In terms of the budget, it's fine. We're good. Four here. Uh, where are we at? For happiness, is pretty decent overall. We'll do that one, and I guess we'll do lifestyle habits. No, we're good. Um, there you go. And recruiting local freshmen. Why not? Hey, South Yukon is looking pretty good. And we're pretty well balanced, so. They're well, very nice. Because we can't do that one quite yet. Which sucks, but we're still looking pretty good overall. Economically speaking, we have a tiny bit of money, not very much, 0 0.024 billion. And helped out a little bit. Did help out very much? No, but it is what it is. At this point, we get 2.47 political power every day. We got 20 days left for completing our admin decision. Level 4 cleanups. We're losing a lot of weekly manpower. Whatever. Get a lot of political power every day. And we're going to focus on the Southwest Bureau uh, here in Stage 1. Should be good. So what are we missing here? Motors equipment, that's pretty normal. Seven. Good to extract more resources, but let's continue working on our military. Obviously, we're not the most militarily advanced, but still. 
We could probably use a machine gun to improve anti-air. Sounds good to me. Indicate a pin. Uh, which one do I want to do next? Positive contact? We could. Because right now, this one gives a message from Chiang Zhao. Or Zhu. Probably Zhao. And then memorandum, proposal for the establishment of the South China Bu Bureau excerpt. And happy February, everybody. Happy February. February, 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 February. Hey, we finally have improved academic base. Look at that. Something to be celebrated. Better retention, more growth for production efficiency, more research speed, better growth, better poverty. Ah, top secret, comrades in the party central committee. I've been working underground for more than 20 years now. The work of the branch is now functionally normal. The enemy leader of Agenda Minoru and other Japanese bureaucrats in my branch carefully disguised and deceptive uh, to Hainan have been put down for now a brief introduction to my unit in Hainan business situation. The Imperial Hainan Cooperation Maintenance Council is a disguise. Our branch has cultivated a wide range of intelligence networks and secret trade routes in Southeast Asia, almost all Southeast Asian countries. And even the U.S. military forces in the Philippines with their branch have maintained excellent civil trade relations. In addition, our branch is in contact with the local anti-Japanese troops in Vietnam, Burma, and Cambodia. It's secretly supporting them, among uh, which the Kachin People Army in Burma has built enough strength to raise a flag and dealt a head-on blow to the Japanese imperialist dogs. Fortunately, the party central committee has broken the blockade of the co-prosperity sphere, and the work in the liberated areas has been fruitful. On behalf of all the comrades of the Hainan branch of the Communist Party of China, Bai Zhu would like to congratulate us and will always follow the leadership of the Party Central Committee and unswervingly abide by the instructions of the Party Central Committee on the situation in Southeast Asia. The best opportunity to remember that co-prosperity sphere is coming. What do we got here? Cool. And we got that done. So that's done with that. Uh huh. Enhance the living environment near the city, the factory. Oh, increase GDP, decrease inflation, decrease liquid reserves, get a production unit. We can do this twice. So that seems really good. Encourage capitalists to forego dividends, decrease growth, increase inflation. Oh, good God. That's terrible. Checking and registering households, clean up the class ranks, payment of the labor protection allowance. That's actually very, very good. Um, yeah, that's very, very good. Increase inflation, increase growth. That's not bad. Increase liquid reserves, too. We could use the money. We're gonna go with this one, probably. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do that next. Can I use you to do this? No, it says, plus, it says we could use this for uh, ordinary resolutions. But that's. Uh, well, we've been lied to. It's a big sad, I know. 4% inflation, not great. So we got that going on. Oh, we're running Southeast Asia. The situation in Southeast Asia was different from China's, which was the co-prosperity sphere's main rear and was protected by the Japanese Army and Navy. If we wanted to seize benefits for Hainan in this era and instigate an uprising anti-Japanese forces, we'd have to invest more political resources. We had to prepare for the total external goal of dismembering the co-prosperity sphere. Strike hard against crime, many young and robust laborers were stranded in urban factories, institutions, and schools during the Great Leap Forward period. Some of these harmful, idle elements began to make a living by breaking the law. These hooligans, with the arrogant idea that serious laws are not violated, but ordinary laws are always violated, have, oh god, caused a significantly harmful impact on the social atmosphere and law and order. And women dare not walk at night, and parents dare not let their children go out in the street. The central government has made up its mind to rely on the masses of people to eradicate these black sheep. Central Committee for the Party and Chairman Mao. Uh, Japan's use of the atomic bomb to bomb Pearl Harbor to force the U.S. out of the war has caused the situation of war in China to continue to develop in a negative direction, and our party organizations and democratic regimes established in various places are facing serious threats from the Japanese as well as Japanese from Chongqing. Party cadres and military commanders at all, all levels must be per fully prepared mentally to deal with possible future challenge changes. We collectively propose the Central Committee that on the premise of avoiding unnecessary sacrifices, the party organizations established by the CPC Central Committee and various best be retained in local branch offices be set up for unified management, as to conform to the trend of long-term struggle against the enemy. Guangdong and the surrounding provinces will be plunged into the long-term darkness and isolation. We should not overestimate the reaction of forces and belittle our own efforts to the point of losing confidence in our future prospects. 
We need cadres at all levels in the South China Bureau to persevere in the struggle, preserve cadres and armed forces, and make long-term plans. Set the resolve to bury our heads in the sand for eight or ten years to disperse our existing forces and turn them into nails firmly planted in the enemy's rear. Liu Xiaoqi, Zhu Dan, uh, Zhu Di, Zhu Enlai, Ren Bishi, Dong Bi Wu, 10th of July, 1945. Or extra July. So, it's been filed in the South China Bureau memo. It can be viewed in the CPC South China Bureau GUI. Alright, so where is it? It's not here. Southwest Bureau. Xinjiang. Uh, we got more issues there, but whatever. How are we looking here? Hey, you're about to raise a credit rating again. Yes, we do have high taxes. Our minimum credit rating is terrible. Huh. Fair. Hey, you got better guns too. Look at that. Alright, so where is this GUI? So here we go. We currently have surplus shipping capacity. Oh my god. The corresponding menus are South China Bureau Memo, Hainan Monthly Trade Summary. South China Bureau Memo. And to respond to the anti long term anti Japanese war behind the enemy lines in 1945, Governments Liu Xiaoqi, Zhu Dei, Zhu Enlai, Ren Bishi, Dong Bi Wu, and others collectively proposed to the Party Central Committee to establish a South China Bureau, which was run according to the comrades Yi Jiang Ying. Zhao Zhang Grong and others. The South China Bureau of Memo is a, mem a collection of important work documents of the South China Bureau from 1945 to the present. Hanan Monthly Trade Summary. As an important achievement of the work of the South China Bureau, the Qiongya column has been completely underground in the Hanan since the 50s. Many Hanan branch leaders have already entered important positions in the Hanan puppet government through various methods such as forging identities and impersonation. Intelligence disguise makes it possible for Hanan to secretly conduct trade with Southeast Asia. After 15 years of development, Hanan now has close contacts and trade with coastal countries and regions in Southeast Asia, and established contact with the Communist Resistance Forces in Vietnam, Myanmar, and Cambodia. The Hanan Monthly Trade Summary can be visually uh, display the main information of Ya column trading activities and provide some options for modifying details to optimize trade efficiency. Still helps you visually see the gains obtained by the Qingya or Qiongya column from trade in Southeast Asia for the month and decide the allocation proportion of light and heavy weapons. This table, all sorts of stuff you can produce, are considered light weapons, and artillery and trucks are considered heavy truck weapons. Click the green square to tick the corresponding column. If there's multiple types of equipment of the same kind ticked, the corresponding amount of equipment will be distributed to the inventory of the Qiangya column next month based on the principle of averaging distribution. Through, though, through the land transport channel secretly developed by the South China Bureau, the front and the party central committee can also reap gains from the small amounts of Hainan trade with a specific value of 20% of the full category gains This is the Hainan trade correction list, including arms trade. The only available in current shipping capacity is greater than or equal to or 90% and less than 100%. The full aim of utilizing surplus shipping resources to improve the economic and trade environment in Hainan. This feature will lock the current shipping capacity to 100% and provide a 2% boost to all categories of Hainan's economy, excluding arms trade. When there is any change in the shipping regions of the South China Bureau, this feature will be automatically cancelled and no need to be manually reactivated. Oh god. Well, I mean, what are we missing? Can I not move this? Okay, interesting. Oh god, is this glitched? Can I not? I can press escape, I guess. Um, it's motorized. We need trucks and, mo and support equipment. So here's uh, Vietnam, level 4, capacity 0. Interesting. If you don't know about it, please go ahead. Base area, Vietnam, resistance organization, CPV, Vietnamese Fatherland Front, key figures, Ho Chi Minh. What is this? Switch to operational stats. So what are we here? Now second Vietnam trade, level 4. Industrial structure. So what does this all say? The main function of this interface is to adjust the trade shipping stats between the selected regions and Hainan and perform some additional operations to increase trade willingness or reduce Japanese alertness. Trade willingness. The uh, trade willingness of a region directly affects how much gain the Qiangya column can obtain from that region. The gain value is jointly determined by the industrial structure and regional level of that region. Japanese alertness. If the trade willingness of any region is higher than 50% and is currently in operation, Japanese alertness will begin to increase. 
An increased trade is generally determined by the number of such regions and their trade willingness. The more coastal regions and the higher their trade willingness, the faster the increased rate of Japanese alertness. Shipping capacity. A non-shipping capacity is limited and cannot maintain trade shipping with all tradable regions at the same time. Specifically, the higher the regional trade level of a region, the more industrial materials it represents, and thus the more shipping capacity it occupies. Once the remaining shipping capacity of Hainan cannot satisfy the regional trade level of the currently selected region, the region will not be able to carry out more trade actions. Therefore, please uh, carefully decide the allocation of trade regions. Hmm. So we have improved trade relations. Increase uh, tr regions trade willingness by 15%, only optional for operational regions. Once a month. Reduce Japanese alertness by 2.5%. Switch to operational status. We'll start Chiang Yao's column secret trade with the selected region, providing different gains to the Qing Yao column based on the region's level, industrial structure, trade willingness, and but, uh, if the selected region's trade willingness exceeds 50%, it will cause Japanese alertness. Keeping our operational status will gradually increase the selected region's trade willingness by 10 to 30%, on suspended status. Second option will temporarily suspend Chiang Yao's column secret trade with the selected region and reduce 10% of Japanese alertness. Keeping suspended stance will gradually decrease selected region's trade willingness by 10 to 30%. Interesting. Ah. Not in Cambodia or Laos. Or oh, this is Cambodia. Oh, trade willingness. If it's below 40%, there's an increase in, in consumer goods categories. Effectiveness. If trade willingness is between 40 and 70%, there will be an increase in heavy industry trade benefits. If trade willingness is above 70, there will be an increase in weapons industry trade benefits above the, as well as above benefits. Above. Cambodia, please go ahead. Base area, enemy region. Oh, what was it? Choosing this costs 50 political power to increase un unity of the region by 50%. Equipment index. I'll get 100 units of infantry equipment, support equipment, and 20 things of artillery from Qing Yao Column to increase the equipment rate of region by 1. Those are representatives. Cost 50 command points, increase the level of organization level by 1. Interesting. How about Vietnam? Oh, not Vietnam, Thailand. So Thailand's kind of a. Uh, no resistance organization possible in, Viet in Vietnam. I keep calling it Vietnam. Oh, Thailand. Interesting. Burma. Let me go Burma, please go ahead. Burma should fall apart at some point, right? What is this? Initiate revolution. Once all three indicators reach level three or above, you can choose to infiltrate or initiate a revolution. In the target region, the higher the combat readiness level, the stronger the loca local commander's power will be during the revolution. Ah. We're down here. Nope. Malaya. If you wonder about Malaya, please go ahead. Divide in two parts, of course. There you go. And then Indonesia. Indonesia has just had their civil war, so there's not probably much we can do about it. So let's go to Vietnam. Operational status. Free trade relations, why not? Unity index. So the main function of the interface is to securely support the target region and its three indicators unity, trade equipment, and organizational rate. The highest level for all three indicators is level 5. Once all three indicators reach level 3 or above, you can choose to initiate a revolution in the target region. The higher the combat readiness level, the stronger the local commerce power will be during the revolution. Specific actions are when all three indicators reach level 3, a division unit with an equipment rate of 80%, and training level of two, level 2 will appear in the base area. When all three reach level 4, a division unit with an equipment rate of 100%, and training level of level 3 will appear in the base area, and you will gain a boost of morale that will last until the end of the battle. When you reach all level 5, a division unit with equipment rate of 100% and training level of level 5 will appear in the base area and you will gain a stronger boost that lasts until the end of the battle. Can you do this all at the same time? We have the political power now, so I don't mind spending it. So it looks like... Okay, so I'm only manpower. I don't know, trade buff. I hope I don't miss anything here, because I really don't want to miss anything. Do it right, all fully. So I assume that's it for now, so... Am I missing something? Oh, I guess we can switch operational status too. We already did that for these guys. There you go. Trade willingness. Trade willingness. Trade willingness. Trade. Trade.
Japanese alert SS0. Let's get calculating the sum of the trade willingness of all areas with the trade willingness above 50% to 100. If it's lower above 50%, the soothing button is no longer available except for the suspended status button. When the Japanese alertness reaches 100%, there will be an embargo on all areas, and the South China GUI can, can no longer be interacted with. Interesting. You never know about this stuff. More trade willingness? Well, hold on, if it hits this. Eventually, we'll probably need to suspend things here. Oh, look at that, level 3 already. Right. Wow. Level 1's nice. Um, yeah, we'll go with that one. Because we can. Interesting. And here, it takes a special for this group. Xinjiang. Hainan, 0%, 8%, up to 80%. Uh, stability, it's looking pretty good so far. I can beat Nam here, but okay. Uh, all things must return decisions. The work, party's work is divided into two fronts, a bright and the dark. 20 years ago, to ensure that Xi'an did not fall into enemy hands, the party controlled Xi'an at the expense of exposing the underground front, which led to the work of the covert front falling into a state of prolonged shock with a resumption of the front's economic and organizational work. The sound reacted with the work of the underground front. This town will send a particular female communist, Shang Shi. That sounds like a great thing for us. Two Buddha scramble. Huh. Collapse of the Reichstag. Goodbye. Hey, not bad. Memorandum of Missions in 1946. Central Party Committee, Chairman Mao Liu Zhu and Zhu Zhao. Central Committee and the Military Commission, the South China Bureau has not fulfilled the task of unifying Jia Wei, and therefore, in accordance with the Central Committee's instructions, has changed its objectives to understand and consolidate the anti Japanese base in South China and to prepare for a protracted struggle. A safety development of the mass movement in the two regions, our general strategic policies have created as much as possible a nationwide. Uh, anti imperialist united front to aggregate and unite all possible, though unreliable, shaky forces in the struggle against the common enemy, the Japanese imperialists and the Lakis. Although Jia Wei explicitly rejected the common anti Japanese proposal brought by the Central Committee, he did not expel our party's organization in Guangxi, and in most cases he would open up the net on the issues of mass movement. This is the kind of cooperation that Jia Wei wants, and we surely seize this opportunity to strengthen the united front. The Dong Zhang column and the Yangzhou column had already established long term contacts with the Southern Bureau. With the prospect of the Nationalist government Chongqing making peace with Japan, the southern anti-Japanese guerrillas are facing a serious situation of being comprehensively besieged by the Japanese and the counterfeit forces. Therefore, the immediate task was to consolidate the armed forces we could must master in the shortest possible time, move to safety in time, and jump out of the enemy's encirclement. South China Bureau, Secretary Yi Xiangying, Wei Guoqing, Liu Xiaowu, Zhao Xianggrong, Acts December 1945. Nice. Prominent role model. We must not ignore the excellent character models in the army. They can be uh, the standard bearer in the training field, and the marksman in the firing range, or model labor in production and construction, and even the spoon chef in the logistics kitchen. The existence of excellent role models will drive the ideological climate of a whole group to improve so that our army will have more and more role models, and will undoubtedly achieve our goal of improving the quality of the military. We want Cambodia on our side. Hey, what do we got here? Page two? Look oh, at these guys. Ah, oh, this is the second page of this that we just read. Nice. That's really cool. This button doesn't work though. Yeah. Look at all the political power we got. My goodness. But we got we gotta do socialist agriculture as well. A better improved social, uh, poverty rate. Agriculture will get even better. Decrease one more level hurt of uh, greatly forward. The four cleanups will end in several months. The resolution of the agriculture collectivization will be added to the miscellaneous laws. Which is all fantastic in the end. Super, super, super fantastic.
deficit's looking not bad. The debt to GDP ratio rose quite a bit, but it's not going up very much higher anymore. Which is pretty good. Oh, wait. Did I even notice this? We, we got it fair. Hey, that helps. No effect on stability. Better higher credit uh, debt ceiling. But, I mean, this is our debt. It was 82%, so we're, we're doing all right. Rebuild the front line. The aging zoo on the lot. I probably did not expect that he had the opportunity to reset the underground front. A hundred mixed emotions flooded his mind as he watched the busy telegraph room. Soon, Wu and Subiana and Premier Zhao, are you looking for me? Uh, Zhao and Lai turned back. Oh, come to Dongju. Come and find a place to sit. I'll look for your papers. Zhu and Lai drew two files and put on his glasses. Homesick, right? You haven't been able to go back and reunite with General Fu for so many years since you came to the base. Zhu and Lai put the documents together under the lamp and began to study them carefully. And Fu Dongju smiled bitterly and lowered his head. Well, it's human nature. I'll not to want to, but I think I'm so more loyal to the revolutionary side than my father. Zhu and Lai raised his head. Well, I'm going to tell you shortly. The Central Committee secretly instructed that the underground front was to be reactivated. And the first wedge is driven into our east. That is Shang-Chi, where General Fu is. Fu Dongju immediately understood. Is this to send me to Shang-Chi to convince my father? Zhu and Lai waved his hand. General Fu, he, we rushed to make this plan. The Central Committee, or Central Government, has already approved the implementation. He handed the document in his hand to Fu Dongju. Fu Dongju leaned down to read the document. It was silent for a long time. Now, are there difficulties? Dong Zhu promises to complete the task of the party central committee. Cool. Oops, I didn't mean to click that again. Oh, okay, oh, I should open this up. Look at this. Alertness is not super high, but we got a lot of drugs. It's more than we asked for. Um, where's Japanese alertness? Oh, we don't have enough equipment for this, do we? I wish we could move. I can't see what we have and don't have. That makes no sense. Motorized and sport equipment also. Mm, go business. It's going to be make us quite a bit more noticeable, but that's alright. Trade willingness. So we clicked on that. Japanese learns this is zero, which is great. Nice. Cool. Anything in Taiwan? No. All right. Pretty good. Uh, double check all these. Can we do any more? Level four, nice. We're here to spawn revolutions in all these places, huh? Ah, well, it's, there it is resurface, huh? The rushing uh, Huangge River of the Hu Kuo failed to give Fu Zuo Yi old and dried up of shell vitality. It has long been something like a dead heart, sitting on a soft sedan around a layer of blankets only to feel the water stirring up the cold wind chill to the bone. The government attache who was with him had to be ready to receive trivial questions from the old chairman, such as, how is the climate this year, flood waters are not abundant, how much wheat, Nanjing, and how many trips to send condolences, and so on, seems to be concerned about the unusual, but do not care about the problem. And Fu Yi's eyes, his unquestioning is undoubtedly a symbol from rule, but the people around him have been accustomed to fooling this deaf and blind old man. Fu Dong Zhu helplessly advised, Dad, talk less, talk too much, hurts the body. An old fair, a fair surfaces. What is this? Underground party and oppressed areas must be activated and rebuilt in its intelligence organization and send a special person to contact Comrade Fu Dong Zhu to find out about around the detail of underground party activities in Shangxi. Because the next stage of decisions. Cool. Increase, not bad. Please look at reserves. Do we have any money right now? Ah, oh. finally something help us out with that debt to GDP ratio. Oh boy. Um, in the meantime, honestly, we could do that, and that's good to do. But production unit would be nice. I don't want to decrease money too much, because this is just so good. Like, it's so good. It helps poverty. Slightly political power, which we don't need. But even more growth. I mean, how can I not choose that one? 
Uh, Dajan? Sure, why not? Honestly, you gotta just ignore this page. In the end, it doesn't really matter. Too much, so. There we go. Here. It's fine. Keep focusing on the military. Yanan. Keep focusing on them, too. It's fine. So. Socialist agriculture. So that one, anti-only economism. Many workers under the spell of the Reactionary Organization Workers Club attack the party central committee at the most difficult economic time in the base area, ambitiously denigrated the general line of socialist construction under the leadership of Chairman Mao, which was severely criticized at the time. Whether the workers' demands were correct and whether the labor system was reasonable could have been studied, however. At the beginning of the climax of the socialist construction, the reactionaries threw out the bay with the economist slogan of reduced working hours and increased wages, seriously disrupting the economic construction work in the base area. The revolutionary organizations, such as the Xi'an Labor Union and the revolutionary proletariat, had declared to draw a clear line with them and angrily denounced this bourgeois trend. Night attack in North Shangxi. Uh, memorandum of conduct Viet Minh. Well, the Vietnam Independence League, an anti Japanese revolutionary organization founded by Vietnamese communist Ho Chi Minh, Vu Yanjia, and others had secretly infiltrated China in 1943 in the hope of establishing contact with Chiang Kai shek's government, but was arrested by the KMT authorities and released to return to China after Chiang's death. Yesterday, the Xiantu Urban Engineering Department and the Guangdong Fujian Hanjiang Column reported to the South China Bureau that the Comrade Hu would again try to establish contact with the Chinese anti-Japanese regime, hoping to receive economic aid and military support from the Chinese government. We responded that we must ask Comrade Ho Chi Minh to visit the anti-Japanese democratic regime led by us and arrange for Comrades Wei Guo Qing and Lu Xiaowu to make preliminary contacts to prevent sabotage actions by making the Kuomintang surrender faction and the Japanese in the fake. We are prepared to include the Vietnamese Revolution and the anti-Japanese struggle in the South China Bureau, and have other efforts to assist in the Vietnam Independence League to open up the base areas on the guangxi vietnam border and to hold the Japanese army in the direction of the Indochina Peninsula in check. In this way, the anti-Japanese forces in Guangxi and Guangdong developed over a longer period of time and formed a north-south echo with Vietnam in the regional situation. There are many advantages to establish relationships with the Vietnamese anti-Japanese forces under the Ho Chi Minh leadership, and now we look forward to the military commission's instructions and reviews. Li Bishan, Secretary of the Shan Tu Party Committee of the South China Bureau. So, uh, sometime in August 46. Fu Zhou Yi is already dying. Fu Dongju to the Central Committee to ensure that within two weeks to contact the anti-Japanese patriots within Shangxi and it, the name of the high-level meeting from which it takes place. Not bad. Healthcare. It'd be good to get better healthcare, of course. Working on it, though. Look at that growth. More construction speed. I mean, it's not like we're building up things very fast. And Gian's trying to build roads. He's been trying to build roads for the last, I don't know, since we started. Five years. I love social agriculture. What do we got here? Strangers crossing the Yellow River. Fuyo's early death made the situation in Shangxi more urgent and complicated. In order to take more time for Comrade Fu Dongzhu, the Central Committee decided to plan a faint mission, sending agents into the Luliang area to mobilize the masses, creating the illusion of rapid communist bandits. Well, alright. Prominent role models. Fu Ziyi is dead. Message from the underground party. Fu Ziyi died in Tiaoyuan a few days ago. Crime of Fu Dongju changed the underground party and oppressed areas, areas party work arrangements. Due to the dramatic change in the situation, all the comrades of the underground party in the white zone suggested that the Central Committee just be up in preparation to launch a faint attack on the East Coast. They asked the Central Committee to make an early decision on the situation in Shangxi. Plans change. Yeah, they do. No book of quotations. Since the uh, Gotian Conference, our army strictly followed the critical principle of political army building and an important treasure that we've been able to continue in the past, uh, revolutionary wars. We have to compile Conrad Mao Zedong's rebellious thoughts straightforwardly and clear into a quotations book to ensure that our army's political thoughts are always in line with the central government. Got a lot of energy though. It's a little been going up and I haven't really noticed too much. But now that's for here. Do that. South China Bureau. Where are we at? 80%. Alertness 1.9%. That's not bad. We can help them out here in Burma. Vietnam. Help them out here. This, this too. Here. Um, trade willingness is not very good. Oh, we can't do it anymore. 
Level five, holy crap. Here, have that. I mean, they're already 100% with us, so. Can't really lower anything that's, if it's never been raised, so. Yeah, no point doing that. Cool. Hospital construction's good. Send a tiger to the mountain. Comrade Fu Dongju contacted Gao Xun, Xu Xun and Huang Chao Song, two patriotic generals who had cooperated deeply with ours and who would take advantage of the momentum of the unstable border in Shangxi to lead the troops out in mass at Datong in northern Shangxi, where they would establish an anti-Japanese democratic regime to openly confront the Shangxi cliques. Oh, North Shangxi De National Defense Front, owner of Datong. Uh, I mean, that'd be fantastic if we could. Let's take a look see here. So from Hainan. Just keep getting monthly light weapons, monthly heavy weapons. I guess get as much as you possibly can right now, you know. Strict organization looking at the West Russia War in the 1950s. We can actually f find that the army's blind fight was an actual cause of the failure of the West Russia against Germany, which was attributed to the lack of strict organizational discipline and some general disobedience to command. We must not repeat the same mistake. We must be strict, uh, have strict di organizational discipline to ensure that we can strictly implement the command of the leading comrades of the Central Army Military Commission to the Army's action. Liang Dong Hu oh, would not condone rebellions, and now that he's mobilized his army to invade the democratic regime in northern Shangxi, we must get you to mobilize the people of Shangxi to comprehensively undermine Liang Dong Hu's war preparations plans from the countryside to the cities. Well, let's wait until they're done with that border war first. It's best to wait. And then we can do Sufan, huh? Try card against crime. Memorandum Chung Yao Column MIA to Central Military Commission. How did the Hainan Party Committee complete this infiltration mission? Uh, the Central Committee will lose contact with the Chung Yao Column, and there, uh, after the Azon's matter will be handled unilaterally by the South China Bureau. In addition, Japan forced Nanking to abolish the KMT headquarters in Hainan and established a special zone, temporarily handed over to the Chinese. The South China Bureau thought that this was a test operation for the Japanese to colonize China, an opportunity for a party to penetrate the ruling hierarchy in Hainan. Now that the Central Committee would give its instructions, South China Bureau. Secretary Yi Jiang Ying and Zhao Yang Grong, January sometime in 1947. Hey, good job, guys. North Shangxi National Defense Front. Do you actually have a focus read? No. Figures much. Well, I guess we'll go to the next thing here. Go to Southern East Asia. Nice. And happy June now. I have almost 40 minutes in this video. That makes no sense to me. This goes by so fast. It really does. It's ridiculous how fast time flies when you're having fun. But another month. Another time to check the uh, special status of ourselves. Now the like is getting really old though. New month, 3.9%. Plenty of weapons coming in, which is good. Equipment level index, yes. Three normal command fire, that's not good. Oh god, that's actually really not good. Level 4 is good, though.
Keep an eye on Vietnam. Hey, 0.04, that's pretty darn good. Not gonna lie, that's pretty darn good. And the strength of admin decisions clean up the class ranks. That'd be nice. Division troop transport. Oh, later from the gets wing, uh, Wang Shi Wei to Zhao Jun, my friend Zhao Jun. 20 years ago, you're allowed to drink in the synagogue, it's still fresh in my mind. What can we do if we let him speak? Well, so much more de deafening than the denunciations of other mediocre peoples. And has cheered me up to this day, making me believe that there's still hope on Earth. Recently, there was the young new man right at the uh, labor farm, which made me marvel the coincidence of the fate of this world. He went to Peking University, like me, and came to the Northwest with the same passion, the same desire to live by words, and the same misfortune to be convicted by words. When I first met, his face was blue and purple, and he introduced me to him as a Liu Song Luo, uh, the name of the radish. Since then, I've called him Xiao Liu, or just Song Luo, but according to the prison supervisor, his real name is Liu Xiaotong. And he changed his name to Liu Song Luo because he particularly liked the word grass head. After the introduction, Song Luo showed me a stiff smile like a corpse, making me shudder. I think if you do not engage in some unique pursuit, he may break down to see a short term. All right, with uneasy concern, I visited him every day at dinner time, just as you always did with me. It has been almost a year since I was transferred from Xi'an Prison, number four, to Hanzong Labor Reform Farm, thanks to the care of the Party Social Committee. I'm living well here, and in difficult times, the farm is homegrown vegetables to ensure that I do not go hungry. Speaking of radishes, now the autumn radishes are about to be harvested. Last night, the leaders decided to add a meal to the canteen and allowed me to pull a few. The big white radishes are all growing beautifully, like fat dolls covered in mud, and you have to hold them with two hands and move them. I gave them to the kitchen to be washed and clean, and they were now delicious raw or cooked. Holding a bowl of steaming radish soup, I suddenly realized why Song Luo took the plant as a spiritual sport. Living wood have to hate to avoid us riders, so the radish out of the soil can still be eaten by us, regardless of good or bad. Perhaps this is one of the few warmth in the labor farm. I cannot but laugh at the thought of this while looking more at the neighboring table sitting gobbling up uh, the pineal. I hope I'm not disturbing you, and I hope you are health, healthy and safe. Long live the Chairman Mao, your friend Shi Wei. Shi Wei. With all the letters, send it again after you change it. Piece of war. Oh, look at this. Thanks to the terrorist effort to the front, the click Liang Dong Huo is finally sitting at the at negotiating table and talking with us properly about the political status of Datong. We'll never give up, give up on any of our friends. Transfer to the North Shangxi National Defense Front Force to PLA. Well, I guess we will. But I think we'll end it there. We're just still continuing along, uh, pushing on forward more and more and more. We now are opening up other possible communist regimes and revolutions to support across Southeast Asia, which I think is actually really, really cool. But if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.